Hi. My name is Cormody. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make trap beat with samples. And I also show my favorite sample effects plugins. Let's jump into it. These samples are from Narcos 2 by Production Master. First, listen to the samples. These samples in A-sharp major, I pitch them up 5 semitones to more space for bass. Alright. Let's go to first sample. I added a parametric EQ to cut the low frequencies. Next, I added Effectrix plugin by Sugar Bites. Awesome effect plugin for samples. I reversed end of the second and fourth beat. And then added vinyl effect each two beat like this. Finally added chorus effect at first of the bar. About 30%. Be careful, don't use this effect too much. This is without effect tricks. With effect tricks. Awesome. The next effect is shaper box. I added a volume filter to more movement. You can select different length you want. I used one bar. I mixed it to my sample about 20%. To use this filter, open the plugin, choose filter, pick sign, and click two times in this button. Here, you can mix as much as you want. The next great effect is Looperator by Sugar Bites again. You can slice, loop and so many amazing filter with this plugin. In this sample, I used play stop effect in end of the second bar. If you want to learn more about this plugin, let me know in comment. Finally, I used Stereo Enhancer to mono the sound a little. Nice. Alright. I added a counter melody to my sample, and this is its sound. This sound is come from Heat up 3 VST. Go to Strings, Arco Violins. This is a sound with no effects. This is with effects and process. What I did? I will tell you. This is a melody pattern. First I rendered the MIDI to the WAV file. Then bring it to the sampler. The sampler that I use is Momentum. It's a free plugin. You can go and download it. I put the link in description. I used reverse technique to reverse the melody. You can do so many things in this plugin. Let's go to the effects and process. I added an EQ to cut the low frequencies and put down the high frequencies a little bit. Then fruity limiter to get the picks. Next effect is Super VHS by Baby Audio to add some low 5 vibes. I use Pan Man to pan left and right. Then I added some reverb to the sound. 
and another limiter to catch those picks. Finally, I used Stereo Enhancer to mono the sound a little. Easy. The last melody in the intro section is a bass melody. This sound is come from Track God VST. This is a melody pattern. Simple. Let's turn of the effects and listen. Huge difference. I will explain to you. First of all, I put an EQ to cut the high and high mid. Because we have so many sounds in this area. And it's just a bass. Then I added distortion by Destructor plugin. It is a stock FL Studio plugin. I used Effectrix plugin again on this sound. I reversed second beat and add stutter effect. Sound like this. Then I put the compressor to controlling the dynamic range. I put another EQ to reduce the volume of the bad frequencies, another limiter to catch the picks. These are actually for mixing. Don't worry. I will make a video about mixing this song later. This is before. This is after. All right, listen to the intro with all instruments. Beautiful. I routed in these three sound to the another mixer channel to have control over them. I put some effects and automation in bus channel. I will explain to you in a few minutes. All right, let's go to another sample. As you see, I didn't change this sound because I think it sounds great. This is my advice to you. Sometimes not doing something is the best effect, right? I just divided this sound into two parts, mid and side, to more control for mixing and routed to the bus. But in the second half, I gave some effects. In this way, the beat would not be boring. Let's listen to it. Basically what I did, I used Looperator and create automation on mix level. Let's disable all effects. First, I put loop effect in the beginning and forward reverse effect to the end of the sample. Let's listen. Then put envelope effect to mute the sound for two beats. After that, I put the delay and tape stop slow effect. Listen to it. And finally, I used low pass filter to finish this masterpiece. This is its sound with effects. Brilliant. In the third part of the beat, I put half time and automation that to slowly bring up the sound. Let's listen. Let's go for drums. This is kick sound and pattern. This is 808 sound and pattern.
I used slide notes in end of the bar. If you want to how to use slide notes, double click on the note that you want to slide and click on slide button. You can make a lot of variations with these slide notes. Be creative. Also, here I pan that two notes to left and right. As you see, I did a lot of process for this sound. I will explain to you in another video for mixing this beat. This video about how to make beat, not mixing. 808 sound without effects. With effects. Huge difference. Here I made delay effect for 808 to more bounce. I put the last two notes in another pattern and routed to new mixer channel. And added an EQ to cut low and high and also compress it to make it look like a delay effect. This is 808 and kick together. I chose two snare with simple patterns. This is sounds to gather. This is hi-hat sound. I started with hi-hat rolls. To do this, select the note by control plus left click. Then press alt plus u and adjust the time mull knob. Here I use triplets hi-hat. To do this, change snap to grid to one third beat. Next we have hi-hat rolls again. I change the pitch of each hi-hat rolls to more bounce. You can change the note velocity like this to variation. Also I pan them to left and right. We have two open hi-hats that panned left and right. This is its sound to gather. Next is crash. It sound like this. I put EQ to cut the low frequencies and reverb for more space. And finally we have a reverse crash. Sound like this. I put EQ and reverb like the previous one. This is drums and 808 sound together. And this is drums with melody. Nice. I put two effects on master channel. Half time and tape stop to affect all beat. This is why I did this. Listen first. As you see, the end of the first sample ending with tape stop effect. And in the last section halftime effect is on the entire beat. Cool. Isn't it? If you want to listen to the complete beat. I put the link in description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this types of tutorials, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Take care.